So, okay, so we are back for part two of installing the Rominator board. So as we left it, we left in total darkness. Now we have the lights back on and we have the new Rominator board in there. Here's the first one that I built. There were a couple little issues with it and we made a few little modifications on it thanks to K Koba and JWD. Um, thanks for their input. So anyway, I'm very nervous. This is gonna be the first time that I booted it up and I'm hoping that it doesn't wipe out the board again. That's what happened the last time. It zapped the logic board, had to order a new logic board. And so anyway, and I don't have the blue SCSI hook to it at the moment because I don't want anything to happen to it if, unless something terribly goes wrong with this. So we are going to flip the power and I hope that it works. Otherwise, it's going to be getting another logic board and I'm going to give up on the idea of having one of these guys in there. So, all right guys, here we go. I've got the mouse hooked up to it. We should, if, if everything is okay, we should hear a slightly different startup chime. We should see the little pirate on there. I'm very nervous. I don't have the keyboard hooked up to it either. So, okay. So we're gonna flip the button and see what happens. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God, it's working. Holy. And we should see a pirate on here. Oh my God, I can't believe it. It's gonna boot up. It's gonna boot into the pirate ROM. It'll take a minute. Look, there it is. Oh my God, it's working. It's working. Look at that. All right. So I will power it down and I will hook the keyboard up to it and we'll boot into the pirate ROM. Sweet. Okay, so we're gonna turn it on again. You'll hear that unique pirate ROM startup chime. And we're gonna let the screen power up here. And I think I need to hold on to the R key, if I'm not mistaken, to boot into the ROM here. We'll see. Sorry for the weird screen pattern. That's what happens when you record in 4K. But we're working on a solution to that too. Hold down on the R now, okay? Well, I guess I'm supposed to do that at boot up. Okay, here, let's do it. Let's try this again here. There again. We'll hold down on the R key and we should boot into the pirate ROM. We have the Rominator successfully installed. It only cost us one new logic board and another Rominator kit. Now, since I have a termination diode in this, we don't get the actual full effect of the Rominator. We get it on startup. We hold down on the R key. It will continue, but rather than booting into the Rominator ROM, it goes into the blue SCSI. If I unplug the blue SCSI, then when the Rominator cues you to press on the R button, I do that, but it will go to a flashing disk. And that's unfortunately because I have the diode in there for the blue SCSI, so it has termination power. So I'm not totally disappointed because it's a pretty cool startup and you get to see the little pirate dude that comes on the screen, but it was worth the effort. It's got a Rominator in it, and I guess, or took the diode off the logic board then we could play around with it more, but I really don't want to do that um, because I like the blue SCSI and it's very convenient, but I'll show you exactly what it does. Okay. Now the screen is going to look a little different because of the 4k that I'm shooting in. You'll get that slow bar pattern coming down. So I will turn it on. 
You're going to hear that cool Rominator startup chime there. It's going to ask me to hold down the R button, which I will. Just waiting for it. Takes a minute here to, to do its thing. So you'll get the little pirate icon coming up here in a second here. We'll hold down the R key, get the little sunglasses. It's going to boot into the blue SCSI. We're running system 7.1. Now on the on the blue SCSI we have that courtesy of Steve from Mac 84. And when I ordered this, I wanted it to have the uh, the higher ROM on it here. So we have on the Rominator we have system 6.8 on it, but unfortunately you can't see it because it's going off the blue SCSI. If I do unplug the blue SCSI, then when we boot it up, when the Rominator Pirate comes on, you hold down the R key, it will go to a blank screen, eventually go to a flashing screen because it's looking for a drive now because we have termination power on that SCSI port. If we take that diode off of it, then we'll get into the Rominator ROM system software on it, which is 6.0.8. But yeah, I mean, I'm pretty excited. It's pretty cool. Um, now, like I said, I, I really enjoy the blue SCSI. It's pretty pretty neat. This system, you, you could put system 7.5 on this, but it'll really slow it down. I mean, even with system 7.1, it's, it's kind of really slow. But it's pretty cool, though. But I like the blue SCSI. We got all kinds of little things here that's on it, but I do need to find uh, and get some games on it. I really want to do that so we can play some classic games. And I am working on a solution for this as far as uh, doing a, a video uh, capture card. I do have one. I haven't quite figured out yet how to uh, implement it, but in the future we'll be able to, to get the uh, actual screen here instead of this annoying bar that goes down here, and I do apologize for that. So the Rominator is successful though. We got it built. It worked. I was so nervous because I thought I was going to blow this thing up again. But thanks to K Koba and JDW there. Um, thank you, gentlemen. Your critiquing helped me a lot. And I really went over this board with a fine tooth comb. I did it a few different ways, especially when it come to that little surface mounted chip. Uh, we did a little extra precautions on that. And yeah, so I'm very, very happy how this turned out. Excellent. I really, really, really like it. It's a pretty cool little mod. Um, like I said, to, to see the benefit of it, I'd have to uh, take the diode out. And I might do that, but then I won't be able to boot off the blue SCSI. It'll boot into it. It'll show the blue SCSI. But anyway, at the very least, I do love the startup chime on this. It sounds like a little somebody hitting a, a glass on it. And the sound's really good on this thing. Of course, um, we got our floppy drive working really good now. I'm very happy. We did that video on that. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go to the video. You'll find out what the issue was with it. And it's a pretty easy fix. These are actually pretty easy to take apart and clean. But this thing is nice and quiet now takes the disc in, which wasn't a problem before, but boy, it ejects them, no problem. That power jack works really good. And it's very, very quiet now, which is wonderful. I like that. So anyway, we're gonna take and we're going to uh, get out of this here. We will go to special here. We're gonna shut it down. Okay for us to switch off our Macintosh. All right, guys, so thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. This was a great success. Although we can't enjoy all the full benefits, we will uh, cross that bridge later on down the road. This Mac Plus is rominated in all of its beautiful glory there. We got a nice working floppy drive. We have the nice blue SCSI on the back of it. 
We got our keyboard fixed. We, we sprayed some deox on it there, contact cleaner, and it cleaned that uh, switch up. So the B key works just fine now on it. Yeah, so I'm very happy. And I'm so glad I got this Rominator board working. I have went through a lot of troubles getting that thing to work. The first one was a disaster. Second one was a success. They are an easy kit to build, but you do have to take certain precautions to build it. And you definitely want to make sure you check your work step by step. The reason why my first one didn't work is I had the two connectors on the PCB board that go into the socket, had those reversed. The pins are a little bit longer, the ones that go down onto the motherboard side of it. And also I had a bridged pin in there and that's what shorted out the CPU on the first board. I'm glad we got it working. So anyway, please like and subscribe and click that notification bell. I really appreciate it. We're also on MeWe and Twitter. You can reach me there. And also we're on Rumble and Odyssey, those two platforms as well. So if YouTube is not your thing, you can watch me on Rumble or Odyssey, whatever you prefer. So anyway, you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.